Happy New Year! Yay! Hey everybody, I'm Nathan Crane. I'm Derek Crane. And this is Motivation Monday. So are you ready to start the new year right? Are you finally ready to achieve those big goals and dreams? Whether it's with your fitness, your health, your weight loss, maybe it's strength training, weight gain, maybe it's in your relationships, maybe it's in your work, um, in your business, in your, in your career, with your wife, with your husband. Whatever it is, we wanna share with you really quickly a, a foolproof plan and steps of how to achieve those goals, no matter how big. And, you know, it really starts, step one, really simple, but one of the things that people kind of forget about when saying New Year's resolutions or in, in any kind of goal setting is, is what you really want to get very clear about what it is that you desire. What are those goals and ambitions and dreams that you have? You know, are they still aligned with who you are as a person, with your heart's desire, you know, getting really clear about what those goals are, what they mean to you, and why, you, uh, why you're striving to achieve them is, is super important, right? So true. And the more detail that you have, the more detail that you have about every single goal, the more attention you're gonna put forward towards achieving it. So just like what you're saying about being very, very clear and precise, write it down. Write down, write down a list of, of the goals itself, but then even within the goals, write down what it would look like to you, what it would feel like. Write down as many details as yeah. you possibly can about being able to bring about clarity to your goals. Absolutely, and this is a really good time to hone in and, and fill into you know, those goals and dreams maybe you've had from the previous year or maybe been working towards for a long time. Are they still pulling you towards them? You know, are they still attracting you towards them? You know, this is a good time to refine, to find out, you know, do I need to adjust these a little bit? Maybe I need to, not in the terms of like, um, do I need to think smaller? It's not what we're saying at all. Have the biggest vision, biggest goals that, that mean something to you. What I'm talking about is how do they feel to you? You know, because we constantly change as human beings. Hopefully you're changing, you know, month to month, year to year. I know I have been for years and years. I'm a totally different person than I was a year ago, totally different person than I was five years ago and 10 years ago because I'm constantly working on uh, bettering myself in every way possible. And, and that's a refinement of honing in on you know, your personal goals, your, your business goals, your career goals. And, and the best way to do that is how do you feel about them? You know, do they still get you excited when you wake up in the morning? And, and if, if not, then maybe that's time to change them and think about, all right, what do I really want? What is it that I'm really passionate about? What is it that, that means so much to me that would give me fulfillment in my life? And then write those down and really, you know, and be willing to dedicate the rest of your life to it. Those are the goals you want to chase after and work towards. So true. And then going right, right into it, what is, there's step one, and step one to be, a, be able to have a clear, concise, precise goal setting, and then details about it, and then, and then what are you gonna do with all these goals? You know, to make it into manifestation, into reality, is you have to take action. Right. And, and that really important part of action is, you know, the first step of taking action is you need to look at your habits, right? Yeah. All your habits, because the type of action you take on a daily basis are determined upon your life habits, your sleeping habits, your working habits, your thinking habits, your speaking habits, yeah. right? There's more, there's a lot more of your habits that, that you might even be unconscious about that are just, they, they're a part of what you do every day. So true. Even just internal patterns, like that's what, that's what's beautiful about it is that even the thought processes that you have within yourself, even about how you see yourself, those are also considered habits. So to be able to bring in personal development and self growth into every single aspect of your life, whether it be fitness, health, relationships, business, what it is is how you see yourself is going to create an end result. You know how how quickly you get to that goal is being able to see yourself already as achieving it. How, how do you create that? You know, it's, 
It's you have to have the clear picture and then also start seeing yourself already achieving those goals. What would that feel like? Just like what you said, what would it feel like to you? How would you think? How would you act? How would you speak as that person? Right, and so that's really, as one of our habits, that's a thinking habit, right? That's how do you think about yourself? You know, what about a, a sleeping habit? Like, what if you change something about how you woke up in the morning? How many hours of sleep you're getting? Are you getting too few? Are you waking up every morning tired and groggy? Are you not getting enough sleep? Or are you getting too much sleep, right? Too much sleep will also make you tired and groggy. You have to figure out what that, what that level of sleep is. Some people are do amazing on five hours of sleep. Other people need seven to eight. You need to find what that is. The other thing too is, you know, maybe you're not waking up early enough. Maybe you should be waking up at 5.30 a.m. and immediately exercising in the morning. You know, even if it's 30 minutes, get the blood flowing, get the, get the creative juices flowing, you know, and maybe reading a, a few pages from a positive book that you're reading or someone's life story that they, they've gone from, you know, rags to riches or just had great success in their life. Creating habits like that, adjusting habits along the way, will make significant differences long term you know and so um same thing take a look at your spiritual practices you know are you fulfilled enough in your spiritual practice each day whatever that might be your diet nutrition maybe it's just adding an extra green smoothie or green juice to your diet every day and adding on that over time these little habit changes are what the most successful people do in life and they continuously look to improve those habits and 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 you know, there's so many changes you can do in your habits um, constantly, but then you're gonna get results, right? That's the third step. You're gonna get results from all this, and that's what you need to pay attention to. And being able to, just like what, what you said, adjust and improve. So that you're, in, in a sense, you're, you're creating a self-analysis of you know, creating your goals, where, where your goals are suddenly coming into accomplishment. How long, how long is that taking? So that then when, when you have all this clear idea and everything, it's like, what do you do with all, all of this? Is if you don't know, seek advice. You know, that's, that's something where you can start watching YouTube videos. If you need to uh, read self, self-improvement books, self-growth books, if you're looking to achieve a better uh, state of fitness and health, what books would you be reading? All of this stuff that in a sense you're programming into your mind that you're creating words and you're creating actions that suddenly you're creating a new thought process. And through that, through seeking advice, seeing results and continually refining it so that through refining it, you're creating an entire process within yourself where your goals suddenly come into manifestation. Right, exactly, and so that requires a certain level of humility, right? That we are humble about not thinking that we know everything, that we have all the answers, that, oh, I already know everything about diet, or I already know everything about fitness, or, you know, you find the most successful people in business and in relationships and sports, even if they probably do know just about everything about it because they're so successful at it, they're still open to the tiniest change. They're still open to the tiniest improvement. And, and as, you, as you get further and further to that level, those little tiny improvements actually make a significant difference in the long term. I mean, that's like, you know, a sh you may have heard the metaphor, a ship out on the ocean that sets its compass to one degree, right? Over hundreds of miles can be in a, you know, a thousand miles away from its original destination, right? So we're looking at this long term. That's why it's important that these goals uh, that you're setting bring, you know, they attract you to them. You're not constantly chasing them, but they're attracting you to them, that you have that love and passion for them, and you look at it as long term, like I could dedicate my life to this, or at least the next five to 10 years, whatever it takes. That's number one. Two, constantly changing our habits, looking at ways to improve. Three, to, you know, getting advice and getting support along the way. And then, as Derek said, four is fine, you know, refining as we go, looking at the results, saying, all right, these results are okay, but I would like them better. Okay, great. So let's go back and change our habits. So you rinse and repeat. You go through this process again and again, constantly, um, and, and you stick with it, you continuously be dedicated to your own self-growth and personal development, and you will see your results continue to improve. So that's our uh, advice for you today on setting New Year's goals the right way um, and, and an action plan towards achieving them. 
We'd love to see you really fulfilled in your life, working towards just the ultimate version of yourself that you possibly can be. So we always love hearing from you. You can leave us your thoughts below. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and have an amazing year. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.